Well, this is going to be a check. Uh, this is going to be a bad one because Adam refuses to do his job. <laughs> his only job on the show, which is to go get us coffees. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, Don't is, lie. Okay, to okay. Answer this: Are are you willing to go get us coffees? I've gotten you coffee in the past. No, and I'm off right now. <laughs> while you just clocked in, you're gaming. I'm gaming the out of frustration. I don't even want to be fucking gaming right now. You pissed me off so bad. I gotta play Battlefield. No, you're kill- pissed. Virtual Turks, dude. You're pissing me off by treating Uh-oh. me like some sort of secretary. You don't Uh-oh. get pissed off. You you go on your period. It's different <laughs> when a girl does Got it. Got him. Girls <laughs> don't get pissed off, dude. It's true. It's called PMS. You're having, I know a yeah. thing or two. Girls don't pee. Then they eat chocolate. Yeah, you have You have to have a piece. Of, you want to eat some chocolate chips? Yeah. I'll have Why don't one. you go to the fucking store and get some and get me a coffee? While that is at. ridiculous. <laughs> There's a big bag now of chips. Your name is Grace, and you're the secretary of Cumbtown. Yeah, and I'm, I mean, Nick's Will. Yeah. I'm not Will. the secretary. Stav is still Stav. No, My name's Will I'm Karen now, with the reason. big titties. I'm the no, he's secretary Grace like Will and Grace. You're Will the gay guy. I'm Karen, the drunk lady with big tits. No, no you're not. You're tits. fucking. You're Bruce Valance. And I'm sucking my own tits. You're the gayest one. What's no, his name? I'm not Jack. You're Jack. Jack. You're Jack and You're Jack. You're Jack and no, Grace. I'm Grace. Nick is Will, the regular gay guy. I'm Grace, and I get fucked all the time. I catch so much <laughs> cock. She did get a nice amount of cock in I'm that De- show. I'm Debbie Messy. As a kid, I thought she was on the show like because the guys were gay, and I thought she was supposed to be a lesbian because her breasts were so small. <laughs> right, that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> gay guys don't have dicks. And by, you, by a sometimes. kid, I mean when I was 18 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a 19-year-old man. That's what I did. It's true. That's true. Sometimes women's breasts are small, and they have no choice other than to be lesbian. Really? Yeah. In, in my true. in my perfect world, yes. <laughs> so every little that sounds world like something that I've my dictated. dad would have told me as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes your dad's right. <laughs> Very rarely. Sometimes you got to listen to your father. You know. Like when he says, "Go get us coffees." <laughs> I'm, you're not. First of all, you're not my father. <laughs> Second of all, I, I'm, look, I'm a, I'm your boss, which is basically like a father. You're not my boss. Yeah, take that as you show him. You tell him. Thanks. Stop. Stand up for yourself, man. I listen, Grace. Nick, I'm the Grace. secretary. Grace. <laughs> listen, Grace. No, Grace, I'm Grace. I'm not gonna tell you again. You are Grace. You're right. First oh, of all, yeah, I'm Grace. You look like shit. You like, need yeah. to go home and put on a dress. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how dare you come in the office with no makeup on? All the men are throwing well, How up. are the men supposed to come in their pants at work? Exactly. Mad That's why, style. You know, because you know how like all the startups now have Xbox and shit in there? Yes. That's yeah. basically what women used to be in the office. Oh, and taps. very true. It was something you could jack off to. Yes. Now yeah. that people are like, oh, wow, isn't it so nice companies now have Xbox and, you know, Tegerators. Dance Dance Revolution? It's like, no, you used to be able to rape people <laughs> <laughs> back in the 50s. Yeah, yeah it imagine, wasn't Wii Imagine sports. that break room. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's Jane from Mad Men with their big ass titties. You got yeah. to just put your cock in between them. It's Grace from Come Town. <laughs> and everyone's having sex with her. Against her will. Should we fuck Adam as a bit? Yeah, we should. Uh, We're going to feed him to Tim. I beat off earlier, We're so feed I don't him really have one first. in the chamber. Feed him. Ass first? Yeah. I think Tim would probably want to suck his dick if I had to guess. Yeah, Tim's and then, the bottom. And then. Imagine get how. Uh, you would feel. You would That'd feel the so stubble funny. on the sides of his cheeks. On the, <laughs> all the way out to the edges of your hips. Ugh. <laughs> his head is the width of your body. <laughs> Straight up. His head, literally, your whole pelvis is Tim's fucking imagine, cheeks. I mean, imagine his bristly cheeks rubbing against the sides of your thighs. Oh, he- are you getting hard, Adam? I'm not getting hard. It looks like you're hard. I see your cock right now. Yeah, my cock is. I've soft. got a microscope. <laughs> Do you want me to take my pants off? I've got my a hard. I've, I've got a high-powered mic. I've got the microscope they use for the. Uh, uh, fuck. What's the the hadron hadron collider or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. The little ass molecule <laughs> that's little as shit. Yeah. The, that's what I got a microscope the for. The Higgs boson. The Higgs boson. boson. Yes. I got that microscope and I'm looking at your cock and I'm straining my eyes, but I see that it's hard. Well. I've got we're a, talking about Tim fucking you or sucking your dick. I've got a um I've got a picture of your dick. Yeah, that yeah. you framed and have in your living in room. In my wallet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Adam also frames every bill in his wallet. 
That's a very every time thing he's, that he does. Every, every time he successfully disputed a charge. You know, you know when people have like the first dollar they ever yeah, made? Yeah, yeah. Adam does that with every single piece of currency that he has. This is the 43rd <laughs> nickel. <laughs> framed dollar bills in his wallet that doesn't fold shut. That was shit is so stupid. I can't believe people would like frame the first. What are you touching over there? What buttons are you pressing? Fifty dollars. I made or pressing some buttons. I just touched uh, Amber's amplifier, but I didn't press Whoa. any buttons. Yeah, well, Whoa, he broke dude. it. Amber, can I shred a little bit on Come Town? <laughs> I think it's Amber important. Amber said no very forcefully for well, everyone. The fans, the fans have been asking for it. They've been saying the fans have been. If asking, there's anything we want more of, it's Adam guitar. displaying things he thinks he's good at. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that is what everyone can't wait to hear more of Adam's People love genius opinions <laughs> that he remembers from college. Oh, uh, I didn't. People love when Mark Marin plays blues guitar on his Yeah, podcast. that shit is so funny. What a fucking out-of-touch like, motherfucker. He's so bad at guitar. He, people want to hear him sing, dude. Come on, bro. Just do the interview. I don't he's, understand why comedians can't just be fucking comedians. He's I, a, I don't know. He's like, a, as much as comedians uh, complain about having to do like theme shows or whatever, it's like the first second they have to be like, oh, well, we're gonna we're we're putting on a debate. I know, and we it's, need a, it. Makes you, no fucking sense. A public a public genius clown to comment on <laughs> a barstool <laughs> philosopher. Right, exactly. Uh, Mark Maron's apparently coming out with a memoir. Ooh, good. Yeah, you've talked about everything you've done. Like, who the fuck wants to read your your shit? Man, it's about what's in my head, man. I don't it's about know. what's it's going on. It's people that didn't start man. fucking until they were 27. Apparently, oh, he yeah. threw yeah. Louie yeah. under the bus real hard. Did he? Yeah. I mean, I don't listen to his podcast, but someone said, like, right after the Louie shit came out, he, like, made a whole public statement about, like, I don't know what's in his head, man. Interesting. I don't, I don't know what he said, but he threw him under the bus pretty hard. Well, I mean, I would do the same to you. No, you would If I had found out that, you know, you know maybe you shoplifted or... I cut the line at Starbucks. I've done both of those things. I would publicly condemn you. (laughs) I've done both of those things. As soon as possible. Well, you should publicly condemn me because I admit my guilt. You admit? And I apologize to the police. Are you going to I'm trying to pretend to be a cool criminal. I am a cool one, cr- one cool customer. You'll ne- you've we never done a, a good crime, dude. You got a, a real I've done a lot dangerous of good body boy. No. What's the, worst, boy. what's the worst crime you've ever done, Stav? Murder. No, First degree up. murder. No, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Premeditated. Yeah, he's got you there, Adam. That was cool. Stav murdered somebody. That is All you've cool. done has been rude at Starbucks to old women. Yep. I'm not Rolled rude. your eyes and been going like, ugh. Yeah, uh, I'm never explicitly uh, rude. It's more of a psychological warfare. Oh, I, I see. Agent. You ice them out. The silent treatment. It's not, no, it's not icing out. It's killing them with kindness. Oh, I have a very specific strategy that I go into. If someone's being impatient, I uh, offer them nice things in order to make them feel even worse. Like what? I don't know. A good example is like uh, if someone's like, wait, this happened w- one time when I was at eating a meal with friends of mine someone was like waiting it was like first come first serve seating and he was waiting right up on our table like while we were before we got the mm. check just right up on our table and i wasn't going to finish my sandwich so i offered him the rest of my sandwich nice that's that's how i engage in psychological Damn, warfare dude, that's yeah. really nice of you see i did a nice thing that wasn't was nice really you were being just, a dick you were clearly being, really a dick. being a dick there was no even but he nice was so, layer. But he was not being nice by fucking like impatiently standing up on our table. Dude, shut up. What do you mean shut up? Shut up, dude. You should um, show I me missed some that respect. Whole story. It, it was it sounded, sucked. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't you didn't suck. miss anything. It didn't suck. It wasn't even a good I example of what he was talking about. I was imparting some knowledge on the stuff. If he, he didn't, if he took five minutes to shit. listen, maybe he could have learned something. I didn't learn shit, and I'll never learn anything. By the way. Well, that's fine. I respect that. Too. Learning is gay. Man, are we I can't wait till we can just convert this into a Twitch stream instead of a podcast. That'd be yeah, awesome. can you stop gaming? Can we just do the show? <laughs> I think the show's going fine, actually. It's not going fine. The show's fine. actually going better than it normally does. <laughs> and you know what's interesting? Yeah. So is my gaming. I'm, wow. doing, I'm doing pretty fucking well right now. Are you? Kills? How, what's I your kill death ratio? I think my problem ratio? is that I, I, you know what it is? I'm such a disciplined person. Oh, yeah. That I focus too hard sometimes. Absolutely. I would say the one problem with our podcast uh-huh. is that we focus on it yeah, the focusing, I, put, yeah. I think if I put less effort into everything in my life, mm-hmm. things will start going easier for yep. me. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm such a perfectionist, you know. Oh yeah. 
Well, that's it's why. Also, that's why half the time I I look down and my zipper is completely open mm, throughout the day. That's delicious. You well, want it's it perfectly open. You have open. your mind on other things, right? It's because I'm doing fucking really hard math problems. Yep. I keep it open to get a little air in, on my cock. Yeah. A little fresh air. Why is that like such an embarrassing thing? Your penis isn't showing. If your fly is down, everyone's like, "Oh, that's yours isn't because it's microscopic." Yeah. But other well, people's no, also cocks because might. I'm wearing underpants. No. My That's cock not will, true. My cock will rip through any boxer brief if it's not held back by a zipper. That's patently false. Why no. is it embarrassing that they have no clothes on? You know, you really, if you really want to. Why get into is it. being naked embarrassing? We should do a naked episode. <laughs> We're doing one right now. Yeah, well, that's that's what's going to save comedy is convert all the shows to naked to shows. To naked <laughs> stand-up shows? Yeah. Whatever did happen to you that You know what's going to happen is nobody's going to watch done. Charlie Rose anymore because he's a rapist. Dude, that was so one of the... have to save the ratings by having naked, naked Charlie interviews. Rose. Mm. Yeah. Mm. See his old, loose-ass balls? Yeah. You know Charlie's got some low-ass balls. Everybody wins, you know? It's yeah, body of positive. And they're red as shit. Oh, yeah. Not only is he old, but he's from the South. His balls are red and sweaty. He just had that, yeah, humid summer, summertime They're balls. probably plump as hell. Yeah. From all the, all the, mm -hmm. like, all the humidity. Yeah, yeah, like two Georgia peaches. You know how, yeah, you know how, like, wood gets warped if it's too humid? That's probably his, his balls are fucking fucked up and warped. Yeah. That's my... They have their own rocking chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's yes. underneath the table. Mm-hmm. You know? That, Ooh, a little guy. That's what that creaking noise is whenever you watch... I kind of imagine his Who balls like Charlie Rose. His balls like, um, you know that like what is that? You know the thing where you take like a metal ball and you, you yeah, fucking take Newton, it and then yeah, you release Newton it. Ball Newton thing. Balls. That's how his balls are. What that they're like they get a, a nice swing. like a pendulum yeah, thing at all times because he's on the rocking chair. You oh, see, I'm sorry, yeah, but he only has two balls. He nauseous. doesn't have like five balls. <laughs> yeah, nah, he does. I'm starting to get. Sick to my stomach. How would you rate? How would you rate your gaming? Like at Battlefield, oh, are you above average, average, intermediate, no, advanced, probably expert, average, yeah. average? Yeah, I'm not particular. Compared to people it. online, yeah, I'm not particular. Do you ever good. run into someone online? And it's like, wow, that's a genius. That guy's amazing. No, it's always children. It's just you against. Yeah, kids. well, ki like kids have faster reflexes than adults do. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, really? Yeah, we should make them fighter I'm a, pilots. I'm a fucking old man. That was the premise of Ender's Game. Really? Yeah. Oh, damn. Sounds pretty good. We should watch it. No, the movie sucks. Oh. Uh, but I loved that book when I was a kid. Uh, hey, wait, wait, especially when I found out it was homophobic. Rear Enders game. Yeah. How about mm. Genders game? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. Everyone's cool. trans. Yep. You drive, a, you drive that spaceship into a big alien's cock and cut it off? Actually, that is what happens at the end of the book. <laughs> it cuts off an alien's dick <laughs> and sucks it. <laughs> he sucks it with his remembered dick. Yeah, that happens. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that happens in the book, stop. Wow, stop. It looks like you're about to read a book. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, for, that's pretty funny, dude. <laughs> this, this remembered green ass alien dick. I just love the idea of like. <laughs> The podcast editing, the bod falling out, and Stav just laughing to himself reading children's books <laughs> <laughs> on the bus. This, this shit's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit's you know, if, pretty funny. Any book where they cut off an alien's dick <laughs> and someone sucks it, this just guy's loose. Say, this guy's saying goodnight to the moon. What yeah. an idiot. Oh, uh, fuck, dude. I hope they. I can't uh, wait, wait for the next sequel in the Alien franchise. They just keep going further and further back in time. Right. In Alien. Yeah. yeah. And that's what it's going to be. Is let me find out that way, way back, instead of the aliens making us, you know, mm -hmm. it was a guy who found an alien, and he cut off his dick, and he sucked it. <laughs> <laughs> Even Whoa. in that context, it's good again, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty good movie. Yeah. God damn, dude. Yeah, uh, it's called Alien Penis. <laughs> wow. Alien yes. colon penis. Alien penis. <laughs> alien colon erection. Uh, 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 fuck. So wait, yeah. you said the aliens made did us? You, did you guys see Alien Circumcision? It was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> was Is that the premise of that movie, that the aliens made us, actually? How about the born erection? That's good. It's, it's like, a baby I, with a hard-ass dick. I can't dick. remember oh. why I have this boner. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, I like my that. My dick's really hard. And I can't he knows who why. he is completely, though. He just doesn't remember why he's hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he can't remember what made him. Yeah. Hard. <laughs> my name is Jason Bourne. I'm fully aware of everything. This Cooper's like, it's just this God damn it, it's, me. you're part of a government program to get people hard. <laughs> You gotta get back to the CIA. Come home right now, Jason. You don't walk around with your dick hard like that. You think it'd be like a perma hard dick, or even if he jerks it off, it yeah. stays hard. Yeah. Damn. Well, that's what makes him a, a special a secret weapon, and not that's just a regular cool. guy. Oh yes, he fucks for the government. Yeah, dude, that would be a prison if you could never get a di- a soft dick. Imagine being always hard, and you're always thinking about. That's fucking. a real thing. That'd be terrible, Probably. dude. <laughs> the, the only bliss uh, I have uh, in this you, life. That, you mean being In high gay? school, my friend. Yeah, I mean being gay. Be, yeah, because to me, being straight is always being hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the definition of being a I don't know, man. man. The only time I have bliss is when I've after I've beat off for like seven minutes. My friend popped Feels a nice. Viagra when we were like at a sleepover when we were so like 14. So you guys could suck each other's dicks all No, night? and he was like hard for hours. Okay, okay. He was like, Wait, guys, let's up. play Alien. <laughs> <laughs> Cut off my dick in a second. <laughs> no, he was like freaking out. <laughs> Wait, why did he do that? It was just it was as just a joke. Dudes? He like stole it from his dad. Yeah. As a joke. Was this guy gay? Was this the 300 guy? No, no. That guy was in college. No. Brian. So as a joke, this 14-year-old took a Viagra. And we might have been 13 even. What? We were young. Yeah, yeah. Do you it think he on, fucked any How about this, dude? Guyagra. No. And it's just for guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Guyagra? Yeah. No, no girls no allowed, dude. Broads allowed. <laughs> You're not allowed to take this drug. It's guys only. What would happen? <laughs> yep. <laughs> 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 what would happen if a woman took Viagra? Uh, she get anything? blood rushed to her pussy. She, her pussy would get. They make them before they up. vote. I think. What's that? They make them before they vote. I don't think women are allowed to vote unless they pop a Viagra. Before <laughs> mm-hmm. <they vote. laughs> mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. Shouts out to Bob Dole, former Viagra sponsor. Yeah. Or, uh, and Pepsi. And Pepsi. That's how he would calm down afterwards. <laughs> I'm Bob Dole. If there's one thing I love, it's having an erection and drinking a Pepsi Cola. <laughs> yeah, he did them both at the same time. <laughs> That's wild to to lose president and then just to get on a commercial and tell people you can't get hard. Yeah. Yeah, but ever remember like remember that because like I guess we're old enough to remember like it used to be that you got old enough where your dick just didn't work anymore. Yeah, and that was you were free. And then you got into whittling. You got into yeah. like you know, sitting on the porch and whittling. Putting wood. your thumbs. Yeah, Fucking I remember with your Viagra thumbs. came out, and it was like, I guess that's that like a, a whole thing that was just true as a part of your life just stopped existing. Yep, must be amazing. You keep fucking with that chemical ass weird Viagra dick. Damn. Yo, I stopped taking Adderall, and I gotta say my dick's getting nice and hard again. Yeah, because it fucks with your circulation. I had a real, th- I had a real stiff one recently. Really? Yeah. It was pretty good. Were you like proud of your? Yeah. I was proud of it. Yeah. yeah. Did I you give a, a little pick. pat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you took a dick yeah, 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 yeah. Just to have. It was nice lighting too. I told you guys the right. Morning. The first time some a girl asked me for a dick pic, I didn't know that you were supposed to get hard. <laughs> <laughs> that, happened, that happened every time he had sex. So. <laughs> no, that's not true. It's like I thought. I thought it was hard when you saw something you don't like. So that's why I would look at naked men. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like hate supposed that. to be soft <laughs> for girls. And if you hate it, it throws up. It yeah. spits. It's supposed to be soft. It's supposed <laughs> to be nice and soft. That's. Every who doesn't like something soft? <laughs> I told it gets hard when it's scared and angry <laughs> of other men. <laughs> other men's <laughs> <news> body. <laughs> so I say, I'm in the locker room. I say, get, get away from me. I'm pointing at the people I want to leave me alone. I'm pointing at their rock hard bodies. <laughs> that was a good one. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, fuck. we have fun here, Grace. This is a fun one. Yeah, Can Grace. Can you turn off the, mu- the music the, for the battlefield? Excuse me. Yeah, Excuse me, but I have not finished gaming. <laughs> oh, come, <laughs> come on, on, dude. <laughs> Could you turn the volume down a little just bit? Just turn the volume. We just have to listen no, to the No, the bullets. fans want to hear <laughs> no, what's going don't. on in the game. This is so you don't want to fucking have them lose context and understand the severity of World yeah, War Nick, I. Yeah, Nick is now in War uh, is hell. Ottoman Turkey. I think this is that is, right? I think this is Ichichalia. 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 <laughs> Alitalia. That's how it's pronounced in their language. <clears throat> Yo, did you know 
I think uh, the Arab uh, airline bought Alitalia. Emirates? I think Air Emirates bought Alitalia. And oh now they're my wearing like. God. Yeah, it's weird. They got the same coat. They got the same outfit, but it's in green. I want to fly Emirates. Apparently, it's really nice. I yeah. want to fly. I want to hijack an Emirates plane and fly it into their favorite building. Yeah, see how they like it. Yeah, dude. The wherever they do the camel races. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, wherever the camel market is. <laughs> the, no, this is not acceptable. Yeah, the World Turbine Center. How about that, <laughs> folks? We will. We will. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I hope some fucking dumbass redneck tries to hijack an Emirates flight. <laughs> Flies into a Sikh temple. Yeah, into, into, into the Taj Mahal. <laughs> God, that would be awesome. Or that would flies actually it, be funny. He flies, it, he flies it back into the New World Trade Center because he thinks the entire thing is the Ground Zero Mosque. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. <laughs> Damn. Do you think you could fly a plane? How long do you think you keep a plane up in the air? Uh, See, if it was I mean, a ready pretty much, they pretty much fly on their own. Dude. Yeah, it's really? all like automated. Yeah, taking off and landing is the hard part. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I was thinking about getting my pilot's license last year. You gonna do it? Maybe. It seems f- dangerous, dude. No, it's not. I mean, you can get like a, a, I think it's called a like a sports license or a sportsman license. Would you do? Would you do fucking barrel yeah. rolls and shit? No, I don't think they let you do that. That would be awesome, though. No, no, no. it only costs like I think like five to six grand. To be a pilot? To learn yeah. how to be a pilot? Yeah, to get, like, you know, all your hours or whatever. And then what? You buy your own plane and shit? Uh, yeah, I guess eventually. You should get a Cessna, Whoa. dude. Yeah? Is that what I should get? Yeah. But but <clears throat> wouldn't it just be easier to just fly a commercial? No, I mean, it's not... It's, it's not, for not for transport. <laughs> it's for a hobby. Oh, yeah, I got spots tonight. <laughs> so I got to leave at 11 a.m. so I could be at the airfield of... <laughs> <laughs> Fly into Midtown <laughs> Go to prison For landing my plane What if you got a helicopter though? A helicopter You can land that anywhere I don't know I don't know about the helicopter Training program I've never looked into it I would imagine it's a lot harder Yeah it seems harder You can just take off wherever though dude just Yeah Go straight up in the air That is true What I should get is one of those Like Bayou hovercrafts Ooh uh, yeah Uh Fan boat? Yeah, one of those big ass fan boats. That would be awesome, dude. Just fucking ride that motherfucker with your shirt open. Yeah. yeah. Flapping in the wind. I, just imagine me showing up to open mics and everyone's like, oh my God, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> who's that guy? <laughs> he has his own hovercraft? <laughs> Is that Darkwing Duck? <laughs> I want to fuck Darkwing Duck. Oh, yeah. And that's, that, that's my future. Put that whole big hat in my pussy, Darkwing <laughs> yeah, Duck. Yeah. Fold it up. Put your beak in my pussy and open it like a a speculum. (laughs) Give me a pap smear, Darkwing Duck. Nick just got owned. You did, dude. I had to put the controller down. Bringing Fire 77 just stabbed you, bitch. You got fucking owned with a knife. Assault order of Lefevre. Ah, Lasai, right, guys? Yeah, Lasai. Lols. Why did that shit? How of that, is that gay shit like the most flash, popular shit of all time? That flash animation. Yeah, yeah. was it, was it, it just the, saying la whatever? The yeah. end of the world was that it? I don't know. That was what it was. I thought it was. Uh, well, speaking of the g- speaking of one of the gayest jokes of all time, the fucking every joke you've ever the written. cold. Yeah, thank you. The cold pockets. Nick, you're not on Twitter, so you missed this. Oh yeah, did you see that shit? No, Twitter hasn't been funny for years. No, they got taken not. over by people that aren't actually funny, and they just repeat the same thing over and over. Yeah, yeah fine. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right about that. But no, this. Uh, so why are we still talking about it? If I'm right about it. No, Ooh. no, no. But we're not talking about something. That's a very good point. Good ass point. <sighs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sof can describe. Yeah, that it. shit sucked though. though he's though. respected, and he's allowed to finish sentences. <laughs> Dude, because he has tremendous. I'm a respect fucking alpha, room. motherfucker. No, it's not about. So am look, I. I don't. I don't do respect. I only do disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you're disrespecting me because you respect me. Yeah, no. it's like how heat is the absence of cold, or the other That's way. other right. way around. Cold is the absence of heat. Yes, Adam. Uh, what did we say about you saying science on the show? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I don't know. That you're not allowed to science. do it. Yeah, I might Res- be. My respect is the absence of disrespect because you're taking all the disrespect. 
Well, the gravitational orb of how disrespectful. Can I tell you something, it bro? Is. Something sensitive right now? Yeah. In front of the audience? Yeah. I respect both of you. Tremendous respect. That's cool, I guess. Anyway, yeah, that cold pockets thing was, uh, I don't know, some gay shit. Like, uh, someone was like, this is the funniest fucking thing. It's cold. It's like uh, absurdist humor is so they much. They said, no, no, uh, no old man, white man comedian who's upset about uh, PC culture has ever made a joke as funny as this cold pockets Photoshop where someone changed a box of hot pockets to say cold pockets. Yeah, it was. So fucking stupid. I don't know why everyone And the reason it. absurdist humor is so popular today is because because it doesn't hurt anyone. Right, right, right. Unlike these yeah, hurtful... Somebody sent me the, the picture of the Burlington Cheese Coat Factory. <laughs> and everyone was like... I mean, it got retweeted like 10 million times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, all right. Like, I'll see this and be like, huh. Ah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. is this a strong joke? I don't fucking get it. Yeah. That shit was also not a good joke. It's just, how about, it's how just about, cold. It's the opposite. An, an, HBO, an, funny. HBO, an HBO special, right? And it's, it's like one of those like one night stand specials. So yeah. It's an hour long. Mm -hmm. And it starts... And, like, it starts and there's, like, a severely handicapped, you know, I don't know, train, what, you know, throw, yes. as, throw as many as categories many. as you can. Sure. And then it's them be backstage and it's, like, you know, they're just, like, catatonic in the chair. <laughs> 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 they're staring at the keyboard and it's, like, I have been living for this <laughs> moment <laughs> for my entire <laughs> life. This is for you, mom, <laughs> both of you. Oh, lesbian moms. Both my... <laughs> Moms <laughs> for you, and then you know they kick open the emergency exit door, and then they go out on stage, and the special begins. Crowds roaring, right? You know they're laughing. Yeah, yeah. They're already like, "Wow, this is the greatest comedian in the world." Once we've gotten rid of all the white men comedians, sure, this sure, is the best. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a crippled it's Madison Square Garden. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a crippled transgender. And then people are just ah, screaming at the top of the lungs, and then we see you know a far shot. We see the whole audience. And the the chair is slowly making its way to the middle of the stage, like <laughs> ah, ah, ah. forty nine minutes later, <laughs> the chair finally reaches the middle of the stage, and then they and then they say, "It's like hot pockets." <laughs> but it's cold. <laughs> Pocket. <laughs> Produced by Dave Becky. <laughs> Executive producer Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> Special you know thanks to Louis C.K. <laughs> HBO One Night Stand. Yeah, that shit's that's that's good, man. Yeah. That's the future. <clears throat> I saw that, yeah. What's this? LeBron James got ejected in the game he's playing in right now. He got ejaculated? First time in he his career. Ejected. Everyone beat off on LeBron. It was a bukkake. Everyone lined up and beat off in his Damn, eyes. Damn, poor LeBron James. <laughs> Rough, dude. Even the refs beat off in his mouth. Yeah, that's the hardest part about being a basketball player is getting ejaculated from the game. <laughs> <laughs> if the rest ref really pisses you off, you can get ejaculated. Yeah. Damn. Man, imagine being like in a bukkake, like waiting to beat off on someone, and you're like eighth. Yeah, be, that's got to be horrible, a horrible feeling. What the runt of the bukkake? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Just <laughs> waiting. <laughs> <laughs> he can't. He can't suck any of the cum <laughs> <laughs> Uh Yeah, I don't know, man. Who who wants to beat off? You're just sitting there. You're watching it. You're looking at other guys beating off in preparation. Maybe that's your thing. Seems it's not strange. my thing. <coughs> I mean, I couldn't have a, are kind of for the viewer. It's not really for anybody there. I know, but it's strange to be. But those guys are like I mean, being even there. like less than that. Less it's extreme. also a part of like traditional Japanese culture. That's yeah, true. I am being. It's like I am being. The samurai did come up with yeah. that. <laughs> 
It's even less extreme. I don't know. I don't think I could do a Devil's Three way. Absolutely not. Just because of the slapping, you know, just hearing a guy's hearing balls, his balls go back like, and forth slapping, like a on his yeah. on his gooch, on her ass and her thigh. I mean, it's f- uh, all respect if like if that's your thing. If that's your thing. No, but I don't think how is the three with Adam is the guy fucks him in the ass. And no, the it's uses not. A strap on to fuck his mouth. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Adam's like, I had a threesome last night. <laughs> I had a threesome. Me and my <laughs> girlfriend, this hot guy, <laughs> she read a magazine in the corner of the room while I sucked his dick. <laughs> Sarah used to Sarah used to do a bit about that. Oh really? Yeah, about dating a gay guy. Oh yeah, guy. she literally did date a gay guy. Yeah, though. he was like sucking another guy's dick and crying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like realizing he was gay. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> that is pretty good. Um, <clears throat> just like you, I didn't realize Sarah, you and Sarah dated. We didn't date. Yeah, because that's who that bit is about. It's about you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, she goes. Uh, I used to date this guy. Uh, we'll call him uh, Grace. <laughs> 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 what? Damn, son. Adam's gay. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so I guess the two big things we need to talk about. Yes, of course. Bitcoin, crypto, yeah. through the goddamn roof. Stav and I have a lot of I points I sold, on that. Yep. I got a lot of points on the sell? package. I sold. I have a million dollars now. Well, it's well, funny because ni- neither of you have it. any money in crypto. And as we both know, I have just cleared $250,000 have zero money. in my investments. <laughs> yeah. Shut it's up. true. No, You're going to quit the show. I don't talk about it because I don't want my shit to get hacked. Yeah, yeah. You're right. The only thing I buy is electronics. <laughs> I literally went to... I, I, mm-hmm. The amount of money... I know it's, you can just say, you know, oh, yeah, if you had done something, whatever. But mm-hmm. literally the... The purchases I would have given, I would have made fifty thousand dollars by now had I bought when I said this. Um, look, the coming amount, back yeah. from L.A. when you learned right. about when crypto, I, yeah, you were talking about it a lot. I didn't learn about it then. I just stopped paying attention to it for years because yeah. I really I just only ever really paid attention to Bitcoin and maybe Litecoin. Mm-hmm. Um, also, I never had any money, right. so it was like, wow. What, would it be amazing if I had a hundred dollars? I still don't understand what the fuck it is. You you could use it to buy shit, but you buy it with dollars. Yeah, dude, it's so sick. I don't get it. If you had a bunch of Bitcoin, couldn't you just buy shit with just the don't Bitcoin? even bother thinking. In, just uh, imagine, just imagine it like a security, and then it's like, it's. I mean, it's something you can fucking invest in. I don't know what a security is either. Like a stock. Okay. Yeah, I know what a stock is. But it's a you're investing in a computer algorithm. <coughs> um, Seems crazy. And then net neutrality. Yeah, that's the other thing people. Want <laughs> to What's talk a bitcoin? About. It's isn't it the fucking the coin that Mario gets? Is that what a bitcoin is? No, it's digital. Yeah. Um, Maybe bi- Sonic. Come bitcoin coin, is, is Adam's Jewish comedian character. <laughs> I do, which bits. is just him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's me. Adam Bitcoin, <laughs> the Jewish comedian. <laughs> you flick a nickel at him, it does yeah. a bit for you. It's my Jewish, my traditional. It's a Jewish family name, Bitcoin. Five <laughs> cents a joke. It's we were the clowns of the bank. <laughs> we would live in. We lived in the bank, and we would say, "How about this weather?" <laughs> ah. <laughs> I don't know whether or not I should go outside. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin. 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 And then Jesus came in. He's like, that shit fucking sucks, dude. It's yeah. not funny. Stop doing business. In yeah. Oh, that's what yep. it was. And then I said to the Romans, I said, you know, I'm not, not for nothing. He kind of ruined I'm my show. I'm not going to tell you to, yeah. but if you wanted to kill him, <laughs> if you just, I'm not going to. It's not my mm-hmm. idea. It would be your idea, and mm-hmm. you would have to go through Pontius, with it. Pontius, word from the tattletale race. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man named Jesus going around doing shit at the bank or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why did they get him got? Because he said he was the king of the Jews, and they said that wasn't chill. Nah, he wasn't paying taxes. <clears throat> Oh really? Of course. Tax evasion. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's how they Jesus get was libertarian. Yeah, libertarian <laughs> Jesus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your own libertarian Jesus. <laughs> Someone to defend that neutrality <laughs> for no reason other than to be an autistic, principled fucking retard that thinks the end of net neutrality is good. Wait, does some libertarians think net neutrality is good? No, well they don't like net neutrality. What? Net ne- 
How does that make any sense? They're against regulation. Oh, they're against the government. But so, oh, okay. But so they think they're, businesses they're, should be able to charge a hundred dollars to use Twitter or whatever. Yeah, yeah. They're like in favor of that. They're in favor of the market deciding the best way oh. for consumers to access oh, the that's internet. That's hilarious. Well, what's stupid? So they is think like, that phones shouldn't be like a public utility. Yeah, like I don't think. I, I what think, about water? I mean, I don't, I'm not. I don't know what they think about phone lines, but I mean, it's not. In, so, like, in general, the idea is yes, that it, everything should be deregulated. So the idea is that the the internet is a communications tool, right? So that's yeah. why people want net neutrality. No, it's like the phone. You, well, yeah, there was a piece of legislation that that makes the FCC regard. Uh, internet companies as public utilities mm -hmm. and as public utilities they're not allowed to throttle connections or you know give uh uh, uh i guess precedence on the network to like one mm -hmm. right right one right. you know yeah type like comcast of can't just be like uh net we we don't fuck with netflix so their speed is going to be lower or whatever right exactly yeah. and i guess the arguments there's i mean many but you know that like oh well if you know you don't like what they're doing you can just switch to another provider and it's like in most no places, you can't you don't have the option yeah, really you only yeah. have one maybe two yeah yeah I yeah mean, it, where i live is just optimum yeah like i can't get time yeah we, warner. we tried to switch we tried to switch from time warner we couldn't fucking yeah i can't get any other internet yeah it's yeah just time warner in they're all like monopolized and yeah shit's yeah. dumb I like how that's so fucking dumb. It's like the government shouldn't regulate. I saw it, Lewis, what Comcast Lewis Gomez was tweeting about it. He's like, oh yeah. He's like, dude, I've been. I've, he's like, any uh, every video I look at that says everything you need to know about net neutrality is pretty biased towards net neutrality. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> I mean, it's just like look at your cell phone data plan, and look at how much more you pay for that than you do for home internet service. Right, right, right. And uh -huh. look at the different ways they fucking nickel and dime you out of sh The fact that, like, I, I pay $30 a month for unlimited texting added onto my plan because Verizon doesn't just offer that. Never mind the fact that, it like, it's the same network. Right, right, right. You know, it, it doesn't, like, make any fucking yeah, yeah, difference. Yeah. There's no way it should cost an additional $30. But yeah. there's four companies mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, like, that you don't really have that many choices. Yeah, it's. I mean, that shit is fucking so dumb to think we shouldn't in, have net neutrality. In uh, Portugal, they don't have it, and so like you have to pay per like what you want the internet for. So if you if you want Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook, it's fifteen dollars, and then if you want YouTube, something else, something else, right. it's an additional right. Fifteen if you watch the stream shit, yeah, you have it to, like, sucks. You have to like dude. pay for like each. The internet should be like fucking electricity, dude. Suck my dick. Suck my dick, Comcast. You yeah, I mean, there's still gonna be like. It's not going to be as dramatic as people think it is where, like, suddenly everything's way more expensive because the companies don't want to lose customers. Right. So, it, like, if if something does, you know, and it, it, they do also, it, like, it would violate antitrust law for them to throttle Netflix if they offer their own competing streaming service. Right, right, so right. So they still can't do things like that. But... I, I don't mean, know, man. Do, like... The idea, the idea that this will allow companies to compete more and it'll ultimately bring down prices isn't true because the market's right. already locked up. Yeah, by, yeah. Well, that's you know, what I mean. It's like three or four companies. Do antitrust laws even fucking exist? Like these motherfuckers all just kind of get their own. No, antitrust piece. laws exist. But like in this case, it doesn't feel like not for telecom. There's only, yeah, there's only like three fucking companies. What the fuck? Well, they, like, they all just keep buying each other and shit. They still compete. I mean, right. like in theory, but they don't really like geographically. There's how how like and how much of the fucking I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but you know what I mean. Like it doesn't really feel like there's that much competition. Yeah, there isn't, and it's hard and it's hard for for smaller companies to like if somebody wanted to start their own ISP, it's right, like right, hard right. to get you know approval from the FCC to do that. Yeah, fucking dumb, dude. Yeah, I want my free internet, dude. Make that shit free. That's my. That's what I, I mean. Do. Like that's like. What do you think, Adam? The, the, yes, like, I agree. There's, there's shit like, uh, I mean, I haven't paid attention to it in years, but when they got rid of, uh, when they got rid of like, remember like old TV service, like the rabbit ears? Yeah, yeah, shit? yeah, yeah. When they yeah, got yeah. rid of that. Those frequencies were like auctioned off by the FCC. Mm. And, uh, I think Sprint brought, bought up like the, the like best chunk of like the UHF mm -hmm. or VHF, you know, bandwidth yeah, yeah, or whatever. Yeah. 
and they were presumably going to use it for some kind of WiMAX service, and then I don't think they did. What's what's WiMAX? Wi- like citywide Wi-Fi. Oh shit! It would shit. be like citywide high-speed Wi-Fi. Holy fuck! Yeah, which would like alleviate a lot of the problems with like the smaller network congestion. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. And it just never fucking happened. Damn. You know, or, or at least I, I don't think it did. Again, this was like ten yeah. years ago when all this happened. Right, so right, I don't right. Know, like what they're doing with it, but like, it should be that if there's like an unused frequency band. You know, like anyone should be able to use right. it. Right. Yeah. Like the the way it should follow is that like if you find a use for that and you're you're already using it, then at that point you can apply for ownership of it to the FCC, like you would with copyright. You mm-hmm. know, the way patents work, it's not like, mm-hmm. oh yeah, you know, how about uh, uh, a way to get to the moon? And they're like, oh, mm-hmm. how do you do it? It's like, I don't know, but now no <laughs> one's allowed to go to the moon mm-hmm. unless we come up with it first. Mm-hmm. And like, yeah. that's not the way it works with these bandwidths that can just be fucking like bought up by a company, you know, at like an auction where like, no, there's no way anybody can fucking compete with, you know, right. and that, there, that is an argument against, you know, regulation or whatever. But like, those are the arguments that, like I could listen to a libertarian make. It's not right. just like you know, fucking raising your stupid eyebrow and be like, "Oh, oh a net neutrality, huh?" Oh, it should you be know, the like, government. Yeah. Right. Well, yeah. If if everything's already like regulated exactly. this shit and the fucking you know there is no free market anyway. Yeah, then yeah, like, yeah. Yes, I think we should have the one piece of re- le- you know legislation that prevents these companies from fucking us over. But they're gonna keep fucking us. They're gonna keep slow fucking us. Now we got damn Trump in office. Mm. We're fucked. Yeah, dude. yeah. Melania. I also like to point out the head of the FCC, Indian guy. Uh oh. Yeah. Hot, they're hot on the track of. He's worst a real race. piece of shit. That guy. <laughs> worst. Worst yes. type of male. They got Dinesh. Yeah. They no, got they Dinesh. have the guy. They got that guy at the diner we saw who had a hit. But Hitler mustache. mustache. That was <laughs> wild, dude. Yeah. <laughs> just did a fucking. Just did Crown motherfucking Heights or wherever the fuck we were. Clinton Hill. Clinton Hill with a damn Hitler mustache. Yeah, that guy looked like Keith Urban. Looked like Indian <laughs> Keith Urban. <laughs> he the did. Australian country guy? But he had short hair. Doesn't Keith Urban have like a little bowl cut type thing? He's got like John Bon Jovi, like straight, flat ironed, feathered hair. Oh, I yeah. Think. John Bon. That guy fucked in his day, huh? John Bon Jovi? No, he was a queer. How about John Bon's men? Bondsmen? Yeah, Bonesmen. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Do you guys ever have uh, wet dreams? About John Bon Jovi? About John Bon Jovi. No. (laughs) I think you mean yes, Adam. (laughs) Owned. (laughs) (laughs) Rack (laughs) them. I have been bested. Um, I had a a wet dream about... uh, no, I don't really think Trish I had that had any wet dreams. Yeah, I've never had a wet dream. I remember thinking there was something wrong with me when I was a kid because it's like, why am I not coming in my pants? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. like, they show you those videos in health class, and like I was under the impression that I was supposed to be coming in my pants all yeah. the time, well, mm-hmm. the whole and that's, night. Like literally, never happened my entire life. Never life. once. I've never come in my pants. No. Yeah, because I was jack off before bed. Right, right. So I think I if you like, didn't jack off, you got him. Yeah, but I jack off all the time. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. No, I mean, like, even, like, when, like, you know, it'd be, don't fucking touch that speaker. Dude. Don't touch what? Keep your, I can see your hand going back. <laughs> My hand is not touching the speaker. <laughs> you can't prove it. Oh, he's, oh, what? Oh, oh, you're touching it, bitch. I'm not touching anything. Just don't fucking touch it, man. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm literally <laughs> not coming into contact with it. Well, anyways, you know, in movies and shit, there'd always be like yeah. a guy well, kissing a girl, and he like comes in his pants, and it's like that's. Well, not- I've never come in my pants, but I've come in my sleep. In my, I guess I was wearing pants, so technically, but never like you know. I like almost cummed once from dry humping when I was like fourteen, fifteen, but n- never really. Y'all never. are gay, dude. Shut up. I've dude. never come. <laughs> Coming's gay. Coming is gay. <laughs> I'm the most principled man in the world. <laughs> Yeah, I just remember one very memorable dream where it was Trish Stratus, and mm-hmm. I fucked her in a, in the ring, and everyone, <laughs> it was like an arena full of people watching me fuck her. It's, it was, so, it's such a gay dream. <laughs> I know. I, what, we, I mean, we went on a romantic date. No, it wasn't a date. To the museum. 
And then well, I, I got on one knee and I said, "It's the opposite of what Trish, I said." Trish, I have a poem to read to you. <laughs> Please step outside into the rain. No, I fu- and kiss me upside down. Not rain, ring. Can I kiss oh. the ring. I thought you said uh, it was the rain. ring. No, the yeah. ring. It's a big arena. Everyone's watching me. Fuck. Did this you person. do the Spider-Man upside down kiss? Yeah. No, the not Spider-Man the ring. The you ring. R I N G. Dude, that's the center so of the fucking arena, dude. Listen to the varsity that's what you're blues into? soundtrack. <laughs> there goes my hero. <laughs> no, man. What was that Kermit the Frog singing that? No, yeah. that was uh, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. Dave Actually, Grohl, by the way, pretty good run, huh? Nirvana, two and bands, Foo dude. Two, two this big bands. There's a theory that he's behind the Andrew WK conspiracy. That he's behind it, Andrew Dice yeah. Clay, because yeah. he's because Andrew took too much. Andrew of his W Clay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew W Clay. Yeah. Yep. Let's get a party going. Let's get a party going. Everyone loves a party because you're a fucking broad. <laughs> you're a dumb bitch. <laughs> oh, this is great. President Trump's claims that the Access Holly video was f- Access Hollywood video was fake have, hold on, have stunned aides at a time of heightened awareness of harassment. Oh, never mind. This is literally not news. Why is that? Why that are people talking funny. about that? That the, the Access Hollywood tape is like because Trump said it was fake. <laughs> Did you see this fucking Project Veritas thing? Hilarious! Oh, yeah, that is insane. The Washington dude. Post thing. Good for the Washington Post. They hired Post. a woman to say she got raped, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good for the Washington Post <laughs> to try and make the fucking Washington Post look like they're full of shit. Good for the Washington Post for catching that shit. James O'Keefe is such a piece of shit. That shit is so funny. Yeah. There's so many. Well, it's also like if that was successful, like what does that prove? That right. You- that they listened to a that woman. That you're a fucking liar. Yeah. That you committed fraud. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, it's more than that. They're trying to undermine the entire like always believe movement. That's a, that's like I, I understand what they're doing, but it's like yeah. At some they point they have to say like, you know, we got you or whatever. And then it, then it then what does it do? It's like it's it's never. Yeah yeah. Well, it's like just to say oh this is. The Washington Post is fake news or something to like prove to say it. what we lied to other journalists and fucking spent a bunch of money we to craft them. a fake yeah. story. Right, right, right. Like yeah. that's not that's that's a lot different than like the UVA Jackie thing, mm-hmm. which was like a legitimate failure of journalism. It's not like a fucking psychopathic organization. Wait, that was the Rolling Stone thing. Yeah, yeah. You know Jackie? They used to call gay guys Jackies. Yeah, now they call them. They Grace. call them Nancys. <laughs> no, gr- Jackies. Nancys. That was in a, in that in the movie Midnight Cowboy. They called them all Jackies. That's a good movie. You guys know that. I remember I saw that movie. How as about a- uh, Midnight Plowboy? You know <laughs> he does already it's get his dick much sucked the by same a man. Thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing as Midnight Cowboy. Uh, no, yeah, I remember not, thinking dude. it was super weird. No, first of all, no, it's not. <laughs> the first time he. First turned- of all, no, it's not. <laughs> The first trick he turns in that movie—it's not the same thing—is in the movie theater, and then I remember no. thinking it was really weird that the guy was paying him to suck his yeah. dick. I think I, mean, I, told like, I, think I saw that podcast. when I was like sixteen or seventeen. I, I think yeah. I told this story on the podcast, but Eldis made us rewatch that scene. Why? We watched it in college because it made me so uncomfortable. And he kept whenever we'd be hanging out, he would just pull it up. <laughs> he just pull up the part where uh, Angelina Jolie's dad gets his dick sucked by this guy who looks Boyd? like Rick yeah. Moranis. Yeah. Yeah, he does look like Rick Moranis. Adam yeah. looks like Rick Moranis. A little yeah. bit. I do. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I accept that. Uglier and not as endearing. Yeah. I don't know. But I'm more of same a... Same activities per Midnight Cowboy. Look, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I look more like... Uh, yeah, that was Rick Moranis' first yeah. role. <laughs> that was the more. prequel to a uh, series, everyone... Uh, beloved series, Honey, I Suck the Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, Rick, get in here. Rick, where have you been? <laughs> oh, I got bad news. I sucked a dick on the way home. <laughs> what? Boy, oy, 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 oy. Because of yeah. science experiment. This summer, honey, I sucked a dick too. <laughs> like, it happened again? <laughs> It's just a, a fucking 12 minute shot, <laughs> static shot of him sucking a cock. Yeah, it's no, so no, graphic. No, it no, just no, no, no. <laughs> it's him sucking a giant bee's dick. And they don't explain why there's giant bees and bugs and shit. It's just a really tiny man that's sucking off bugs. Yeah, it's Adam sucking Fuck. off bugs' dicks. No, I'm a bug. How could I suck him? Because, because. You're the, no, you're the bug bottom. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not. No, Rick Moranis no, isn't a th- bug first in that of all, movie. You in real life are a bug. In True. Your, in your acting career, you played Play a character guy. named Rick Moranis in a movie <laughs> called Honey, I Sucked a Dick. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> and it's sequels, saying, yeah. Honey, I Sucked a Dick 2, <laughs> Honey, I Sucked a Dick 3, and Honey, I Sucked a Dick 4. <laughs> Where you suck off bugs. <laughs> Giant bugs. <laughs> Big ass dicks you can barely fit your whole mouth around. <laughs> but when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> Inexplicably, he's now a tiny man. <laughs> sucking off everything in the garden. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense. I will say. Oh, uh, damn, dude. It does, bitch. I, I wish I had. Uh, now I'm, I'm mad that I didn't make all that money in crypto, so I couldn't just finance fuck. this film. Oh, yeah, dude. If I had like if I had made <laughs> if I had ten billion dollars. Yeah, I would be like, yeah, I'll, p- I'll pay ten million to have that shot. That would be awesome. Yeah, that would be really funny. We bring Rick Moranis out of retirement to coach Adam. Yeah. How to suck the dicks. <laughs> I respect him for getting out the game. Yeah, he ra- did it. And for honorable family. reasons, too. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. killed his wife and then nah, raised his she children. she got really fat and uh, <laughs> she had to kill herself because <laughs> so he had to be she there. She died in some kind of tragic way, right? She yeah, like... she got really fat. <laughs> you can die I'm that. not saying it's not tragic. <laughs> it's a yeah. you know when yeah. you have to put a woman down. <laughs> <laughs> like Sometimes, a horse that broke yep. its leg. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you gotta. It's sad. It's a sad it's not, world we live in. That's what old stop. yellers about, right? Stop yeah. laughing. His mom gets too fat, and the it's dad's... not funny. Stop laughing. <laughs> Is that not Seinfeld funny. when fucking Kramer tried to apologize? Oh no! I don't oh yeah, yeah. Kramer oh yeah. yeah. They're on the Letterman. Tonight Show or something. Yeah, he right? went on Letterman or something, and he was like. uh uh, I'm so sorry. And that then the I audience laughs. Accurately described that man in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really apologize for being completely dead on yeah, about yeah. his behavior. I'm sorry for <laughs> nailing it. <laughs> that's how funny. That's how funny Kramer was. <laughs> like he couldn't even apologize for being racist without I mean, getting a laugh. because yeah, yeah. he was so. Because they were like, "Oh, fall down, hurt yourself." Yeah. Damn! Imagine being that good at comedy. I know. Such a such a tremendous talent. Do you see that? Have you seen that clip though? Jerry Seinfeld yeah. like scolding the audience. Yeah, he's yeah. like, "Stop laughing! It's not funny." <laughs> yeah, it is funny to see Jerry Seinfeld just not get what he wants in that yeah. in that sense. Being rich as hell, that guy's probably never been, hasn't been told no in so what long. The fuck isn't he making Honey I Suck the Day? <laughs> he will be movie. He's got the movie. movie yeah. was. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He played that bee that got its dick sucked <laughs> by Ray Liotta as a bee. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ray Liotta was in one of the voices? Yeah, he played... It was. I mean, the B looked exactly like Ray Liotta. I thought it was Jerry Seinfeld. No, the other B, the other B man. Come the bad on. guy? I, I don't know, man. I didn't watch the movie. I just saw the part where he sucked the dick. Wait, you saw a B movie? No, I didn't. I really didn't. I never saw it. Yeah, I don't think anyone saw it. Yeah, I don't know. He really put a lot of... Mo- like, he was promoting the shit out of it, though, for some yeah. reason. That's pretty cool that Seinfeld failed at something. I'm jealous of him. Well, he was trying so to get money. over the breakup with the 17 year old, <laughs> so he put his money in the B movie. Yo, what's she up to these days? What Shoshana, she? she's married. Is she? Is she looking good. I mean, she she was Shoshana. What kind of name is that? Eskimo. <laughs> it's Jewish. No, Jewish Eskimo. She was just some rich Jewish girl from L.A. How about instead of Inuit, it's Intuit, which if you don't know is the it's company. The tax. It's the company that makes yeah. Yeah, that makes turbo, turbo tax. tax. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, that joke is would be funnier if people knew Intuit. Yeah, but it's yeah. good. I, don't, I, don't I know our fans Intuit's pay funny. taxes. Yeah, Adam doesn't pay taxes. Yes, I do. No, he doesn't. Where'd you get those socks? Are those warm socks, Adam? Costco. Costco. Uh, wool blend hiking socks, best winter socks. That's uh, Adam's uh, Adam's tip. Adam's Steel Adam Corner. Steel Corner. You should get that. I wish we could do other sponsorships, like McDonald's. What? McDonald's would be cool. We were talking about McCafe sponsoring us. You earlier. know who sponsors everybody is that that razor company. Yeah, I could yeah, use yeah. Them. Harry's Shave. Don't say. It. Don't give them free advertising. Or it's the other. There's another one too. Frankie's. No, it's not. It's Harry's. You fucking. And then now the you're dollar backtrack it. No, the then dollar there's Dollar club. Shave. Yeah. Yeah. Gillette. Why don't we get sponsored by Gillette? I don't know, man. I already just bought that fucking Phillips one blade thing. Oh yeah, that's good? what I use. Yeah. Why well, use it at your house? It's great. Yeah. Because <laughs> he, he said it was good. He said it was good, but he doesn't need the shave. I do need to shave. You don't grow any facial hair I at grow all. Grow a full 
You have like full f- beard, four Coarse hairs beard. on your like face. Bob Vila style thick. <laughs> Bob Vila's the beard. first bearded guy you thought of. Yeah, well, he was very influential in my Adam's youth. Adam's face looks like a cat's asshole. <laughs> what does that it's mean? Like a, Delicious. A few, a few small pieces of fuzz around the edges, but small. mostly it's shit. Yeah. What are you <laughs> about? A puckered piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, our mustaches are just as good as. As each other's Our mustaches are tied right now You're out of your fucking mind For No, being what are gay? you talking about? We both have full, thick mustaches I don't, I have a pencil mustache now Which you can't grow Well, I have a full that one a great but mustache. I, c- I could convert it to a pencil But I you, prefer you the can't full look You can't look in your face right now Only real men can grow a mustache Real tight over the lip You, John Waters Yeah um, Who else? Gomez Tom Adams Selleck. Just a per- pervert Tom Selleck had a thicky Yeah, but it grows down on the lip if you can't yeah. grow your mustache down on I the do. lip, you're you know. As you can see, it's on the lip. a big white spot. Looks like you've been drinking a big old in glass of cum. Yeah. In the middle? It doesn't connect in the middle either. That is a classic look. A pencil with a gap in the middle. That is the classic. It's, first of all, it's not a pencil mustache. That is the not directly classic over your lip. garçon uh, French waiter restaurant look. The gap? French restaurant waiter. What? The gap in the middle? The gap with the two pen- pencils. I'll never be able to grow fucking facial hair. I, it sucks, man. Didn't you have like a beard kind of thing? What like a no. maybe like an under the chin thing? No, once? I've never done that. I mean, I'll grow. I'll grow you get stubble. I'll grow a little stubs, but that's it. it sucks. Have you ever let it really beard. grow? It looks horrible. It looks like fucking like the head, like, like pubes. It looks like pubes. When I grow my mustache out, to the best of my ability, it just looks like like. Tangled eyelashes. Yeah, it looks like eyelashes That's over true. my yeah, 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 <laughs> over yeah, my yeah. lip. <laughs> looks really. I bad. might grow a mustache like yeah, that, yeah. shitty mustache. Why not? You know, that's what I say. I'm glad that I find um, I found a way to ease my way out of having a mustache. Are you gonna uh, go no mustache after that? No, but I mean the pencil thing's a nice in between. Yes, you look good without a mustache. I think. I don't know. I think I look weird without a mustache. No, I, had I think a mustache you look better so without long. a mustache. Well, I had you've a must- had it for so long, but I think you would look better without. Well, I guess maybe I should respect a gay man's opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me <laughs> woo, use my queer <laughs> eyes. Uh, yeah, queer. we have fun here. We do, guys. <laughs> we really I got do. one queer eye and one eye that's just locked. You know, on Arby's. Pussy. Arby's bought fucking. Buffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings. We discussed this on the, on the pipe cast. Yeah. <laughs> we're bringing it, we're bringing no, it what over a travesty to that is, man. Are you upset about this? Yes, Buffalo Wild Wings is a great When's franchise. When's the last time you went to Buffalo Wild franchise. Wings? I haven't been in a hot minute. It's been a year or two, but it's been a couple. Me years and my brothers me. used to go to the White Marsh Buffalo Wild Wings and watch UFC events. It's maybe been like a decade for yeah, that actually sounds me. fun. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> yeah. You know how many like wannabe MMA guys there? It could have turned into a fucking race war at any I moment. Went to, I went to at Buffalo Wild Wings oh, with yeah. my friend yeah. Brendan one time, and uh, our waiter like comes up. He was like, and he just comes up to the table. He's like, woo. He's already drunk. The waiter <laughs> is fucking hammered. <laughs> and uh, this guy was like, you know, pot belly is fucking. He's like, he's he's like balding, but it's like that point where, like, you know, he never, like, no one ever told him he was balding. Yes. So it's just mm-hmm. like this sweaty, you know, yeah. like tuft just placed on top of yeah, his fucking yeah, yeah. head. And like, you know, his like, his stubble connects with his chest yeah. hair, you know, like just this fucking like. Drenched in his own filth, you yes, know, guy. Yes. Loaded. He's like, he's like, you ever been in fucking Buffalo Wild Wings before? You know, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna tell you my fucking favorites. You know, he's like, my name's Mikey. I'm here to hook it up. Uh, whatever you need all night long, I got you. You know, <laughs> and uh, we're like ordering, and then he keeps coming back over to check on us, and eventually, this woman, this like middle aged woman, comes up and starts like while he's talking to us, like. Hugging him and kissing him on the cheek, <laughs> and she's like, she's like, I love you, I love him, and she's like, this is my son and it's his birthday. <laughs> the, <laughs> waiter? Like, the, yeah, the waiter, the waiter, <laughs> and his like drunk old mom was there, and she came to yeah, his work. Whole family was there, yeah. He's like working his she birthday came to shift. His, work. What his the family fuck? came to Buffalo Wild Wings to spend his birthday with him while That's he's working. Sick. <laughs> and we were like, Happy birthday, man. We were like, How old are you? And he's like. 21 Oh my <laughs> god I dude. thought this guy was like 37 Jesus Christ Yeah He was like a 21 year old That just looked amazing. like absolute shit And his mom's oh. like My baby's grown up 
You know? Honestly, that's kind of sweet though. On some level, his family was there the whole time. Yeah, I guess it's cute, dude. I don't know. I mean, that's my exposure to Buffalo Wild Wings. It's good, man. I just it, the it's weird because you're at Buffalo Wild Wings and like. A certain part of you expects there to be strippers. At some <laughs> you, like you have that same anticipation where you're like, I'm eating steak fries. Yep. The music is garbage. Yep. There's, I'm gonna have to see some. Let me see some big old fake tits. Some juicy yum yums. Some jumbos. Yeah. I still I've never interacted with a fake titty in a sex way. I have, but it was from a. Right. That's right. From a prostitute. A, from a trans. A woman I was paying. <laughs> yeah, Adam's in the uh, <laughs> rough trade gay sex. It's like a big thing. What me. is rough trade gay sex? I don't know. I just love the way it sounds. It sounds I think it's probably like sounds like a real thing. Like I know that's a record. Raped, a record. It's a record store. store. And anytime I see yeah. the bags, I f- I say the whole thing in my rough head. trade gay <laughs> sex. <laughs> it makes me laugh so hard. <laughs> you think it's like they beat each other up and then fuck? No, like, I think rough trade. You gay go down sex by the like, docks, so you meet some boys. Yeah, it's like you you're fucking somebody for like uh, a job or something. Something. Oh really? I yeah I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I've heard it once or twice. <laughs> Sounds know. pretty good for a job. <clears throat> yeah, I, for I a, need nice, a job. nice pair of Levi's. Ooh, that's the only way to get into my jeans. <laughs> Just fuck you my yeah. ass. <laughs> <laughs> you want to get? Your you want to wear a nice pair ass. of jeans? You gotta fuck my ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> 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 being removed from Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> You're the guy. Sorry, we told you nine times. <laughs> you gotta stop doing this. <laughs> Coming into Macy's, trying to trick people into fucking your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your own name tag. <laughs> Hello. Oh no no! Come over here. You he ready? said it is only with the wearing <laughs> the Everest jeans as if I fold my ass, <laughs> and then he fucked me in front of the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> he said you have such a nice boy pussy. Where did you get it, clown college? And he made fun of me. Clown college. <laughs> He said, where did you get that boy pussy, clown college? What a good burn that would be. Clown, where did you get that boy college. pussy, clown college? <laughs> Why is that so funny? He said to me, that my boy pussy was from clown college. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. Why is that so funny? <laughs> I don't know. Dude. I don't know. <laughs> that's where you got your boy pussy from, Adam. Uh, I I I got that's I think I spent half my day thinking about the guys outside of Home Depot <laughs> and, their, and their private little world <laughs> that really just exists in my head. <laughs> None yeah. of it's real. Well, well, they just go home not. to bunk bed. They have like 12 children and shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> just a bunk bed style situation. Oh fuck. I got a pimple right on my ass and it hurts. On the cheek? Yeah, kind of. You want like, me to pop it? Yeah, with your tongue. Yo, first you need to pop that pussy and then I'll pop that pimple. No way, man. I'll never pop my pussy for you. You don't oh, deserve it. Dude, it was so funny the other day. Nick, you missed it, but I was like. Well, first of all, I've never missed anything. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I saw it. Stav rolled up before they we went good to. Good Eye Sniper. Before we went to the diner, oh, yeah, Stav that rolled was up. was really funny. And he was listening to some rap. Thing and I was doing like a. the word you described it earlier with Adam. <laughs> what do you call it? What word? It started with an N. <laughs> oh, ended gosh. with R B E A T S. B A. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what you were saying? <laughs> you were going around saying that? That's not what I was saying. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, I was dancing like uh, erotically to it. Yeah. Just as a joke for stuff. And I was saying, pop, yeah, pop that cock for a real one. Yeah, pop, pop that cock for a real one. And then a crackhead was walking <laughs> down the street, and she just goes, ah! <laughs> ah! She started laughing she at you. She starts laughing at me. And it's she's like, good. ha, ha, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> And God, then uh, I got her so number. <laughs> it was pretty cool. That was so awesome when that lady in the bodega in the all white sweatsuit called Co- you a bitch ass N word. Yeah. <laughs> and then kissed me on the cheek. <laughs> He's like, he a bitch ass. <laughs> well, earlier she cheek. was asking that. <laughs> she was asking that dude uh, for, if he, if she could have a hug. Is it? I think it's the same. It's that real like. It's that like you know. 
thin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That thin. Yeah, I. She. She's fucking like. She like harangued me one day. She's. Because she came up. I was time. walking down the street, and she's like, "Excuse me, sir." And I was like, "No." She's like, "Sir," I'm like, "No, I'm not. I'm nothing. I'm not speaking to you." Yeah, you know, because she's always just going mm. around doing that condensed milk bullshit. I think I told this story already. Maybe it's like a you've, scam, right? Like yeah. an you've told the condensed scam. milk scam story. Yeah, they do that shit all the time. Well, she comes up, and you know, I'm like just dismissive, and she's like, "Oh, you having a bad day?" I'm like, "Yes." She's like, "Okay, well, my sister just died of cancer six weeks ago." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I'm like, "Okay." You're like, mine did five weeks ago. Yeah. She's like, actually, I just remembered it was four weeks ago. Yeah, well, ago. I have cancer. Ew. And I'm on my way to the fucking tiny dick store to get my mind worked on. <laughs> <laughs> so I got two problems, bitch. Yep. How about you? Yeah. Excuse me, man, but I'm addicted to crack, and I am a black woman. <laughs> <laughs> to say that to her. Oh, your sister has cancer? <laughs> Well, I'm a fucking crackhead. <laughs> I'm a dick-sucking crackhead <laughs> trying to rob people for milk money mm -hmm. at age 57. <laughs> so why don't you take your problems and yep. hit the road, Jack? That's right. Tell your sister to move to Canada where they got Dude, health care. that's sick how you owned her. I know. Dude, that's really sick. That same woman laughed at you. Yeah. She laughed at me for dancing... <laughs> <laughs> for the way I was dancing, me and her really connect. Man. She asked this, this young I guy. Her, I saw her in the bodega one time, and she like I I I was there at the tail end of one of her fucking dumbass scams, and it's just like some dopey headed you know hipster retard. Yeah, you know that's like of of course God bless you too. You know, <laughs> oh, <it's laughs> so that they like believe in God whenever they're interacting with black with people. Black people. <laughs> yeah, it's like every time it's like oh, God bless you, man. <laughs> oh. oh Oh my God! God. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're such a fucking like. It's all like the bedside, like slime. <laughs> the skaters, the br the yeah, Brooklyn yeah, yeah, sort of yeah. skaters, the guys, guys. Yeah, like just, thirty-five year old skaters that are wearing like yeah, baggy exactly. jeans. Exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, and they're like, wow, you know, they want to be a part of the neighborhood. As right. soon as he fucking walks off, and I'm sure he gave this woman fucking fifty dollars right. or you know whatever the fuck amount he got, you know, yeah, yeah. and. Uh, like, he leaves, and then fucking, you know, so like, some older black guy is like, damn, you know what that's about. And she's like, mm-hmm. And so, like, I, they were just laughing at him after <laughs> yeah. that for having scammed Because he was scared, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, one time she asked a younger dude for a hug in the bodega. Yeah, yeah. And he goes, $20. <laughs> he, was like, he was, like, to asking her to pay him to, <laughs> to get a hug. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so anyway, that's just some of the flavor of New York City for those of you guys listening. You know, people not from New York hate it when people from that live in New York say bodega. That's bodega. like a real... Instead people hate store? that. What do you mean they hate it? They hate that's it. That's what the shit is called. They think it's real, they think it's real like pretend, pretentious or something. Why? It's called a These bodega. These are horrible places. That's what There's it's no called. There's no pretension to them. Yeah, they smell like piss. Yeah. The food has dust on it. I got something nice and dusty for you. Pal. Yeah, I guess corner store or mini mart or mini mart. Who the fuck calls it a mini mart? Quick, quickie mart. Corner store maybe. Corner store makes sense. Uh -huh. Should we uh, review uh, the problem with the poo on the podcast? Y we actually should. The article, the New York Times article. No, the vi no. the video. No. Why don't you read the fucking newsletter I send out for the show? So you know. <coughs> you I'm not that. on the email list. Yeah. Well. That's by design. <laughs> yeah, do you want it? If you want it, you'll find it, man. Okay? You'll figure out a way to get your hands on that newsletter. Yeah, we're going to uh, it's um uh, it's Hari Kanda kind of blowjobs uh Yeah, Hari <laughs> Kanda oh, blowjobs. It's Kanda blue dude. Kanda Kind of blow a dude's uh, oh, yeah. movie. Very funny comic. Oh, we uh I guess we've done enough time already. Oh, nice. Have we? Yeah. So, uh Thanks for coming to Funny Moms Life. Uh, Cleveland, I'll be there this motherfucking Sunday. Uh-huh. Uh, if you're listening to this shit. Oh, yeah. The next the <coughs> next Funny Moms, for those of you in New York, I think it's going to be our last December 11th. December 11th? It's going to be motherfucking December 11th. Uh, also, we have the live show, All Three Boys in motherfucking D.C. on the 22nd, 22nd of December. And if you're in Boston, I will be headlining the House of Blues on the 16th. 
Uh, so come suck me off and come suck us off holiday style on the Speaking 22nd. Of House of Blues, check out the movie House of Games directed by David Mamet. It's a very good movie. Oh, and check movie. out the show House of Pain on uh, TBS. Very funny. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Tyler, Tyler Perry's Perry. House of Pain. Um, I'll also be at the standing room. Every show this weekend. Nice. Yeah. Well, I'm doing a charity thing on uh, Thursday for Puerto Rico or something. If you want to, that's just a brag. I'm not <laughs> telling it. That's Where is wild, it at? Dude. Uh, no, it's at uh, Baby's All Right. What a I brag. I, I was going <laughs> to donate to Puerto Rico until I found out what Puerto Rico means in Spanish. What does it mean? The rich port? The rich port. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, Ooh. whoa. <laughs> They got it. Yeah. They got it covered. I'm sorry. They're rich. I'm a socialist, so <laughs> yeah, I believe rich. that rich people deserve to die in a hurricane. I think at, at 10, uh, uh, at Baby's All Right on Thursday. Oh, I was going to go to that, but I'm in Yeah, Cleveland. yeah. It's a good show. Fuck. There are good people on the show, too. Damn. Um, I mean, oh, that would have been fun. What show? It's a like a Puerto Rican like show. You're Benefit doing it, show. but I'm not on it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Who's booking that? <laughs> These uh, <laughs> brother and sister do, booked it. They're like hosting it together. What are their Honigs. names? Honigs. Jake oh, and Sandy. Sandy. Yeah, she has yeah. to Sandy. She's funny. And why um, am I? Why? Why did they approach you? And not because me? we're cute and nice, and you're like fucking dark and like listening to fucking significant other <laughs> Limp Biscuit on fucking yeah, that's Walkman. Right. They tell the fucking truth, dude. Because <laughs> I'm a fucking dangerous man, <laughs> and you better not ever approach me. You're with just any fucking kind of on the on the bus <laughs> reading the Anarchist Cookbook. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm reading your chin. I'm reading fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, the black it's, art of Harry Potter. <laughs> it is yeah. so funny when pe- you see people reading Harry Potter in public. I know, that's funny. It is so funny. Look, but, enjoy it on your own time, I yeah, guess. Yeah, just like, come on. I'm also at the stand on Christmas Day. Oh, fuck. Are you? Yeah. Why? Is that show. like a show? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's huge. Oh, huge nice. Show. Huge. Yeah, Santa's going to be Did there. Did I say the time of that show? It's 10 on Thursday. No one go to Adam's show. <laughs> it's not for me. It's for Puerto Rico. <laughs> Fuck Puerto Rico. Everyone go to the stand. If Puerto the Rico room. knew what was good for it, it wouldn't associate themselves with someone like Adam. That's true. You know what I did for Puerto Rico? I bought myself a fucking Panama hat and some cigars That's down right. there. That's right. I listened to Ricky Martin and I beat off to j That's fucking, what I did for Puerto I, Rico. I, I, would, I, did, I did what they call a capital infusion into yes. their <laughs> economy. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't do a comedy show that they're not going to hear about. Yep. I said adult benefit. diapers down after the hurricane because adults need diapers too. Yeah, all the and you poppies, just had a lot. All the mommies around. and the poppies. I had Poppy. extras from our uh, from that you, little project. You wearing we them recreationally for sexual purposes. So anyway, to recap, everyone. Go oh, well, also we didn't talk about the Miss USA pageant contestant. That girl with Down syndrome is hot. Teen USA. Oh, nice. Yeah. What's yeah, up? She is, if you're she listening, cute. DM me, baby girl. Yeah. She's pretty cute. Good for her. I, I gotta check her out. I she's living. She, she's living life. Living la vida loca. <laughs> 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 That's the official diagnosis. <laughs> <laughs> the doctor just takes off his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, your daughter is uh, living la vida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That, that'll do it. Uh, We're not going to top that. Good night. All right, bye. <laughs> 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 All right, bye. <laughs>